Hello, welcome to the Wolfpack. My name is my name is Sandistro C3. Welcome back to my the House of Silence. There will be a bit of no, there's gonna be a little a bit missing out. Anyways, let's get on with it. The nagging feeling that something is wrong is isn't getting is getting better. That's not that cool. Then this bear set the large comfort. Broken. And somehow, two of the hairs on the back of my neck sound like someone. Somehow, shall I shall I look I fight the urge to look back. I fight the urge to fight every single something my body tells me that. I have to do what I can to look back. I shut my eyes from that to feel the presence of the love in the room. I also I feel like arms around me. I can't help that arms around me. I turn around and look at and that comes to the me. Well, like the entity that's very small hidden in the room. Hannah and Eureka look at inside worried. Sandra, are you okay? Did you see anything? Are you feeling all right? Fine. Oh, fine. I'm fine. There's nothing. Really? You look pale. You can tell us, I just... No, I just thought I saw something. I'm kidding. I just thought, look, what's this happening? The three of us start to bump, start running into the trouble. It's full of rubbish, none of which will be a problem this way. Diary, look, the diary is more honest. You know, before we were back, it's always an ink color for head school gibberish for the languages. Guys, it's probably her stuff. Suddenly, the symbols and letters in this diary start to make sense. You're right. They look like instructions that can phrase it together. Tell that when she hears it. Her eyes look wide and, and shifting. She puts her hands on my shoulders and cries. There's a look of determination on her face. It makes her all more appealing. I would do anything to please her in place. I can't, I just hug her. I can't kiss her on my knees because it's not a bad thing. I hug her because I'm the pet of the tight body hands. She explains to me and put me in the tub as if she can't be alone for the day. I say the song. Squeeze my hand and smiles. My heart beats hard in my chest. Being with Eureka makes me unbelievably unhappy. Even in the most abrupt of situations, she always makes my spirits rise. Sanchez? Hey. Sorry, it seems I got out of the car. Hey, I was asking if you were. She looks a bit nervous as she tapped the floor with her foot. Ready for what? Or can I see the spin? Yes. Man. This is what we're supposed to do. I know, but I can't go away. The phone is so loud. Shouldn't we be more prepared? Hmm. Whoa. Oh, cool. Well, let's keep that sword with us, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Begin to work, make arrangements with Scar. With her and Flo and Sean working in the order is now good to iron on the sword. I can take the diary. Let's do it. If Sanchez and Rico can successfully cast this battle, they managed to lift up the curse. Oh, the sound looks good fun too. Just like all their friends, the thunder keep floating. Yeah. Oh. Oh. My hands are shivering as I place the sandwich's diary in the middle of the pile. Eureka is pouring the pour the diary, muttering to herself. Salt? He 
It's a fine one. Chill. Yes, it's okay. We got everything. Eureka squeezes my hand. We're ready. She began to smell some of her and in this your friends that uh, will, it, will it work? She looks up at me and her dark eyes pull down on the surface. Of course it will. I have to. You have to get try. You've come this far, further, further than anyone else. It must be because we can. Or because she wants to keep us for last. Don't say that. Just stay hopeful. Because she really is perfect. She stands on my toe, on her toe, and kisses my cheek. If this is the last time I'm going to see Eureka, I'm only sure I can really get out of here. I look at Eureka's pallet face, and she looks at mine. I say nothing, I shall not speak in front. I take in her luscious long straight hair, her lovely almond shaped eyes, her beautiful kissable red lips, her sunburn and red and white neck from the tight daddy. My eyes are all here. There's a slow smile on her face. And your lips are here. I bring my lips with her slowly and kiss her passionately. She kisses me back. With her hands on my head. But then she lets it go. I see her face. Her face is flushed. I'm sure mine is the same way. I finally feel ready. Her face is on a witch. I know. I mean, what if this is the last time? I regret, I'd regret it if I didn't kiss you. I hug Eureka. I won't be the last time. We like to love each other, will we? I look to the pile and stand on one side. Eureka stands on the other side of mine. I take a lighter and bring the, the flame to Messiah lets his fire again start to crack the bins, start to on soon the book. The light in the room starts to flicker. Eureka looks there but maintains her composure. She didn't use brave. It's time to say the magic word. I say magic if that monk is not me. So I just be careful. A very new verse. The smoke from the book helps it take form. So I reach in just a few seconds, the book floor is a mere pile of ashes. Really? That's not scary. But the smoke remains, and the sun lets her climb into her eyes. It's absolutely not scary or more dangerous. Who dares to have me? You will never erase my face. That's what you think, but we've trapped you. You can't get past our dark child circle. The sun here steps on the circle. Looks like an earthquake. But we managed to assess it. She can't move outside. You trap me? You dare to trap me? Silly chick. I can still use my powers, you know. Why don't we talk about this? I'm sure we can come up with. Why don't we talk about this? I'm sure we can come to a peaceful conclusion. Some rituals with him. He thinks I can see past your tricks. You won't fool me again. The, the witch looks at me with a crooked smile. You. You are to be my next soul for harvesting. The silent witch reaches to her feet. Put your gun, you loser. The silent witch turns to look at Eureka. Eureka has a fistful of sweat. Her small body is trembling, but her, there is a determined look at her face on her face. Let him go, or I'll throw this at you. The silent witch reaches his, his arm. She's about to strike Eureka. I'm sorry, Eureka, but you're going to have to die. I stand back in shock. I rush silent witch fight. Eureka, save yourself. Run! But the if the witch's hand admits the force is strong that Eureka is paralyzed with a shield. Eureka screams one last time before she drops the sword. Her lifeless eyes are not enough to tell me that she's gone. But that last time, I see you're missing your girlfriend. Well, too bad you can't save her. But at least you can join in now. I can't let this happen. This is my last chance to make sure I can save Eureka. And everyone else. I grab two fists full of this stuff. I throw out the silent witch with all the strength I can muster. She screeches in in in, in, in human way as she seals her teeth. The human as she drops to the ground shivering. What have you done? My powers are the only thing left of me. All gone. So you are selfish, self-absorbed. So shut your evil mouth. You should think twice before saying that. You don't know anything about that. I'm no longer afraid of her. She's a shivering mess. Don't you realize there are stronger forces at work here? 
I don't just trap soul. I myself am trapped by this place. I was young and I was stupid. I didn't realize the kind of forces I was working with. I ended up here, so sad and alone. Everyone despises me. No one knows what I've been through. Maybe there's still a way out of this. If there is, even if then I do not know it. We only have one demand. Bring everyone we only have one demand. Bring everyone you killed this night back. Every single one. Only then can we negotiate. I can I can do that. But what's the point? What do you mean? The curse of this house is gonna leave you trapped here. You'll be stuck in this place forever. Unless Unless one of you agrees to take the curse upon himself, you will have to sacrifice yourself. Give yourself to the house. And all of your friends can approve. Those are the only conditions. Are you willing to take it? Yes. The witch mutters something under her breath. As she spoke, as she speaks, I see all of her friends in front of me. Stephen walks in for blood in her eyes, and Sarah walks in with her question. Jacob and Hannah are the last ones to walk through the door. Finally, Eureka's eyes also flicker and she but you're looking at everyone back to the other and saying it's overwhelming. Oh my god, guys! I was so sure I was dead. I never, I never, I thought I'd never see you again. I'm so glad, I'm so, I'm so glad to see you all. Especially you, Hannah. Hannah blushes. Thank you for all that you did, Jacob. And thank you, Sam, for bringing us all back. What a buzzy, buzzy, has even been going on. I missed way too much. Can someone tell me what happened? And who was that? He points to the sun witch and screams. Jacob grabs his arm and shushes him. I'll tell you what happened. She takes him outside and gently updates him on the situation. Okay. Now tell me, what should we do about her? He points to the sun witch who is slowly regaining her strength. Should we spare her or should we kill her? Kill her! I can't believe this is a question. I'm not sure since she, she seems genuine. She did get us all back together. No way. Please, I'm scared of just both of her gone. Yes. Way to get rid of an evil spirit is by killing it. She's not just going to disappear. It's too risky for her. I don't know. It seems like such an awful thing to do. We need to set ourselves apart to be good people. But we'll leave the decision to you, Sanctress. Spare her. Okay. Good luck. I'm doing it. I've made my decision. Pick up the iron sword. It's heavy, but I hold it high above my head. I'm sorry. But you're too much. You're too. You, you're too much of a risk. No, please. I. I'm not that. I won't. I won't ever do any. Do anything else ever. Just spare me. I can't bear to listen to her thing. I bring the sword down on her weakened point. She lets out a deafening screech that makes her cover her ears. I see her go up in a huge ascent, slowly dematerializing de in front of her. You confirmed it all, all I believe. You confirmed all I believe by humanity. All of you are selfish and merciless. The souls that live here shall be tortured for eternity. I am more freedom, and I eagerly await your sacrificial lamb. With, with, with a final scream, she disappears. <laughs> all of us stand there, shocked. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Eureka shakes her head. We acted without thinking. What's done is done. At least we don't have to worry about anything new from here. Exactly. We're fine now. Please, let's get out of this world, please. Um, so about that. There's a bit of an issue. We're not safe. Everyone else is. Oh, come on, don't say that. You're still in the curse of this house. However, there is a way. If one of us can sacrifice ourselves and slay back in the house, the others can escape unharmed. Everyone looks at each other in fear. This will probably be one of the most important decisions of our lives. So how do we decide? Mm, will the group sacrifice? Will the others manage to escape unharmed? Is there any way to escape the curse? To find out, we play. Thanks for playing. Oh, come the fuck on. I just... You know what? That's it. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the series. Of this Let's Play. Bye, guys.